Yeah, you wanna keep it real? Like you know the deal. Keep you up on the So when you say, are you ready? Uh, I'm not gonna ask it you. It won't be the same. My name is Reggie. Say what's yeah, but I would, I, I would think that. Why are you thinking of R. Kelly and his R? He had the song. He had the album of R and R and B. So he's not the R and R and B. Come on, let's be real. All bullshit aside. Let's yeah, be real. Whatever, but let's not. No, no, no. Whatever. Let's be real. What do you want me to say? He's 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 arguably one of the greatest R and B minds we've ever seen. No denying it. Okay, that's all I want you to say. But you know who the man now? Me. Breezy. Breezy, but nigga, shut up. Breezy. They're not in the same category. Yes, they are. Nigga, R. Kelly don't dance. Yeah, he don't. All right, and R. Kelly wrote and produced. R. Kelly composed. Chris Brown don't fuck kids. Chris Brown beats women. What she do though? Oh, you, <laughs> fu- ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is a new episode of Advice from a Fuck Boy. This is your favorite fuck boy, Clint Cole. I'm here with uh, my boy Reggie Conquest. We j- we giggling, we laughing, we, we having, having a good, good time. time. Yo, Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, we're having a good time. Yep. Rez, let's just tell the people what happened. What you, happened with what? I had a cookie. Oh, and so. you had a cookie. I had an edible. Um, uh, I haven't you, took one in a while. So. How do you feel? I'm groovy, man. I'm groovy. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not hot. <laughs> like, I feel good. My stomach is bothering me. Okay. Because I had three ice cream sandwiches. Oh, oh my God. And a bag of chips and Oreos. And I just had a lovely Asiago chicken ranch sandwich. I like the way it rolls off your tongue. Say it. No, I'm chill. Um, but you know what? Out of that, chicken what kind of sandwich, chicken sandwich did you have? The Asiago chicken ranch. <laughs> that shit is great. That shit is underrated in chicken sandwiches. Like it, it wasn't even brought up in the chicken sandwich beef. In the chi- yeah, like when these chicken sandwiches been the shit. Yo, I agree with you, bro. I agree with you, a hundred percent. Um, real quick, live podcast, Washington D.C. Chocolate City. Do me a favor, get your tickets. Hit me up. Just text me, 213-358-9861, and say, Clint, I want some tickets. Or send me an email, all right? Or just go to www.drafthousecomedy.com and get your tickets. We're going to be at the live at the Draft House Comedy Theater Wednesday, all right? Wednesday, September 18th, 2019. It's going to be a great time. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I just had the hiccups. Drink, drink some water. I'm not and ready. And give me some water. God damn, I've been asking for water for an hour. Bro, dude, you're not you're not a guest. I am a guest. You can you don't You 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 are a guest until you're not a guest. Well, why don't this you... is only my second time here. Be our guest. Be our guest. But the magic to See that test. That <laughs> nigga was he was gay. Who? <laughs> the fucking lamp. The lamp? How is the lamp gay? The lantern no. Nope, you on your own. Some French, weird, skinny French boy <laughs> be our guest. Because they be- was, them niggas was trying to get back to be human. They was trying to get her to stay. She was playing around. You know, Belle was confused. She was living with her dad. She was a bottom bitch. Wow. I'm saying Belle was. And and she 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 stumbled across the nigga's property. <laughs> <laughs> and his fucking, his fucking, his fucking stuff captured her. You're right. He was, yeah, but the lantern was gay, and Gaston was a rapist. Gaston was not a rapist. What was he then? He was a confident man and, <laughs> with a gang of niggas. <laughs> Gaston was a rapist. I don't like Gaston. You know what? Why all French dudes is sexually aggressive? Every time I see French dudes, Pepe Le Pew is French. Oh yeah, he was. And he just be going around. He a skunk. He smelled the worst. Yeah. And he be just, every episode I've ever seen him in, more shitty. And it was a cat. Nigga, how you want, how, you don't want no man kissing on your, on your, on your, on your, on your forearm? You're right. Wow. wow. Why we got all the energy when the shit not on? Then we start. I don't know. You fly off. We flying off the handle now. Let's so just, look. Let's just keep going, man. Keep it cute, bro. I said keep going. Okay. So, yeah, and also, are we coming up on our 100th episode, Reginald? Where, what, what number is this? This is, I don't know which number this is. I think this is 80. 87. 80? No, it's 88. It's 88. 
It's 88. Wait. You did 88 podcasts? Bro, I'm a savage. Congrats, man. Clap it up. You need you got to get sound effects. <laughs> Have you thought about that? No. Okay. So what I was saying was what we did was we we um we just we 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 do it a hundred episodes. It's our hundred episode. We're gonna be at the live at the Hollywood Improv. It's Ooh. about twenty tickets left now. What is that? It's gonna be Tuesday, October eighth. Oh man, I wish I could be. This here. shit gonna be live, lit, lit tay, and we gonna have a good time. I'm excited, especially at the Hollywood Hollywood Improv. Come mm-hmm. on, bro, it's nothing better. You should have like little branch offs, like advice from like a fuck girl. Yeah, I don't I don't want no chicks trying to be city. me. But it can be there ain't gotta be chicks it can be advice from a fat nigga. Advice from What advice you giving? I don't know. Depending on what the day is. What do you mean? If I, if I'm hosting advice from a fat nigga, it could be anything. Yell something out. What? What's your name? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um I'm not supposed to talk to her. You can talk to whoever you want. What's your name again? Tanise. Her name's Tanise. Tanise. Yell something out, Tanise. Oh. Advice from a fat nigga. What? What is happening? Well, like we want advice from? No, just whatever. Just say something. Whatever you thinking you would you want from a fat nigga. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't think of anything. So you you, you, <laughs> you body shaming? She's body shaming. No, I didn't. She don't want anything from a fat nigga. See, that's why I'm not drinking at your house no more. <laughs> no, you, dog. Listen, there's a lot of things. Listen, I'm not shaming fat dudes. I was fat. And yeah. there's a lot of things women want from fat dudes. Like what? Like comfort. Money? Comfort. But, but money, money, yeah, you can get that from skinny niggas. All yeah. Time. Yeah. But you want fat guys, that's why I develop a liking to like getting my nipples sucked. Oh, man. You, you really... Because like I was, I had titties. <laughs> I'm not even being funny. Why, why titties still funny when you hear it? The word titties is funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, you gotta you gotta follow Carlos Miller. He be, he loved titties. Carlos Carlos Miller, yeah, from the eighty five South podcast. I mean, who don't love titties? Who? What do you mean? Who don't love titties? Everybody love titties. Who? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right. So I don't really have no topic, but the first thing I want to talk about, Reg, hmm. this weekend, bro, I went to a wedding. Oh, I did see that, I, bro. I, I seen a couple. I seen like three, and then I just snapped. Through. Listen. T- Ryan Hughley and and Alejandro Shepard are married. Now yeah. her name is Ryan Shepard. Mm. She's Mrs. Ryan Shepard. Mm, well, that shit got weight behind it. Are you? Are did that inspire you to maybe walk somebody down the aisle? Well, you don't. The groom doesn't walk anybody down the goddamn well, aisle. Well, wait for somebody to walk down the aisle for you. Yeah, he was crying. I don't care about that. I'm, I'm talking about you. What do you, you mean you don't care about that? Are you ready? Did it inspire you? Did it spark something It in made you? me... I was in my feelings that day. Let me yeah. t- take you to through the wedding. Okay. So, all the groom the, the groom and the groomsmen, they, they all go to the wedding. You know, they clap for them. I'm like, yeah, bro. It's showtime, baby. That's what the kind of... That's the kind of, like, friend I am. It's showtime. Yo, pay attention, motherfucker. I'm listening. Get off your phone. I'm and listening. spend time with me. I'm sorry, you're right. God damn. Um, listen. Okay, go. D- so tell the, the fucking story. Hurry so, up. Listen, all the groomsmen came down. We cheer. And I'm like, yeah, bro, it's showtime. I was hyping him up. I wanted my man to be ready to, to, get, to, to claim his bride. I type a text to a girl I used to see. Yeah, all right, next. So we... <laughs> Then all the bridesmaids came down was getting more, and came down to music. It was so beautiful. Were the bridesmaids fine? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Um, and then after all the bridesmaids was done, right, then it's time for Ryan to come in. She walking in with her dad, Mr. D.L. Hughley, my boss, my right, my chief, my commander. I'm the fucking, what's, what's higher, a colonel or a lieutenant? A lieutenant's higher, so he, I'm the colonel. How you doing, colonel? And I'm like, lieutenant. All right, that's what they be doing on cartoons. So then, he's walking his daughter down the aisle. He crying, dog. And seeing him cry made me cry. So when I cry, you cry, we cry together. I meant that. 
So then they're, 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 there's some laughter going on, but then they read their vows, bro. They read their vows. Do you remember? No, I can't remember another man's or another, another man's vows. Oh, I hope I can write some dope vows. Yo, okay. Let's, okay, Reggie. What? Let's get you prepared to, you got, well, let's get you prepared for your queen. Okay. Reggie, if you were talking to a queen that you want to marry right now, what would you say in your vows? Freestyle it. Okay. So she got fat ass? Yes, yeah, she do. <laughs> I mean, if I'm a... If yeah. I'm a, okay, okay. Yeah. Um. Do it. Do it. All right. What a credit score? Uh, 690. That's not good. That's not... No, it's not bad. It's, it's, it's good. It's not great. Okay, what's her name? Vanessa. I don't know fucking Vanessa. All right. Teresa. No, nigga. What's up with your corny ass names? All right. Give me a Shelly, a Michelle, a, a Chanel. Okay, you want an L? A Tracy, a, fucking, <laughs> oh, Tracy. a Kim. Oh, this, I've never seen an ugly. Listen. Ashley. No. I like a regular. Okay, oh, I got you. Ashley. Oh. I'll give you. Her name is Tiffany. Oh, that's a good Tiffany right there. Yeah. Is she calm Tiffany or is she like fighting Tiffany? She's Tiff. All right, she like in the middle. Like she'll fight a little bit, but she go to class. Yeah, yeah. Oh, them Tiffs would be the best. I love Tiffs. Oh uh, yeah. How you um, doing, Tiff? I'm Cliff. I feel like you had some corny saying like that. I did, but go ahead. What would you say? What What would your vows be to Tiffany with the Tiff with the fat ass and the six ninety credit score? Well, Tiff, um, <laughs> you know, it's uh. <laughs> It's been a long five years, and and it, it feels long, but it's 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 not that long. I'm <laughs> keep going. You know, I, I I'm so grateful to have your family and my family here, and and we bringing our 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 our, our stumps because you the tree, and, um, <laughs> and 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 I'm just a branch on your world. Whoa, shit. Hey, nigga, what? Are you the tree and I'm just a branch on your world. Keep going. Bro, no, 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 no. Let's let, let, keep the, let's say, let's see who can say the fly is poetry shit. Like, okay. just fly. Keep Wait, going. Wait, but we need Tanika in here to, to judge Tanise. it. Tanise. No, Tanise. she's not, she doesn't, she can, she can hear Who you. gonna judge our poetry? She's judge or Rich can judge. Go ahead, start. No, you start. You no, start. You start. No, you 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 already started, and you is your idea. Flip the coin. You uh, lost. Uh, all right, ten seconds. Time it. You, all right, ready. Time. Ten. Time. Time. Ten seconds. Ten. Oh no 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 no. Just you don't need it. to. You don't need. It could be twenty. Okay okay okay, okay. okay. Do it. Okay okay okay. Here we go. Five, four, three. Reggie's poem. The flowers are are blowing with the wind. That blows beneath your feet. The stars connect. The wind chills connect. They fall inside my love for you. That was a warm up. That was a warm up. Stop looking at your phone, dog. I'm not looking at my phone, but that's some. That was some bullshit. All right, but that was the warm up, though. All right. We're only doing one poem, so. No, 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 no. We we'll should have made it count. No. Nope. Come on, nigga. Here we go. Here we go. It's my poem. In five, four, three, two, Clint's poem. Y'all. Sometimes I'm drifting on a memory. And sometimes there ain't no place I'd rather be with you than with you. I'm out here in this lost world. Looking for my queen. And I wish I had the clip to flip up. Because then I'd look like Kadeem. Who the fuck is Kadeem? Kadeem Hodderson. A.K.A. Dwayne Wayne. A.K.A. the nigga who bagged Whitley. And that's the kind of love you want to make. See, I'm in a different world. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> Clint Coley get by to get money, be famous, and then have his own show. Oh. And when he then when he make it, 
He going to pay your student loans. He's going to invest in your dreams and in the bed make you scream. And when I say invest, I mean emotionally and spiritually. Yeah, that's grown man shit. Are you hearing me? That's Clint's poem, nigga. Now, I want y'all to be online and judge whose poem was better. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta go again, dog. Oh, you don't. We're done. This is a poem off. But, bro, we're talking about... The stars are sky. I don't care. My love is high. Yo, shut up. No. Your love is pie. Bro, I'm about to stop recording on your ass. And then they're going to come back. Yo, we should do a poetry... You know how they bat, rap, battle rap? We yeah. should do poetry rap. Like, you know what I mean? Who can kill it the most? No, because poetry is supposed to be expression and love. Yeah, but you do it in a circle. Wait, that that's that's how Def, Def, Def Jam poetry was. Okay, I don't care about a circle. I care about the fact that we... I saw a wedding, bro, and it was delicious and beautiful. Also, what did, what did, what did you do? Are you inspired? Yeah, you man, I, I want to get married. But DL said something very interesting at his during the toast. He say? said, "Weddings are easy, marriage is hard." Oh yeah, of course. Weddings need, are need, easy. You needed to hear that. I need to hear that. Somebody needs to hear that. Weddings. What did he say? Weddings. He said, "Weddings are, are easy, easy. Marriage but is marriage is hard." I think. I think that's the. Um, I think you're saying it wrong because that's 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 that's, that's how it's supposed to say it, right? Marriage is easy. Weddings. What is it? Weddings are hard. Marriage is easy. Weddings are yeah. easy. Marriage is hard. Weddings are e. Weddings are easy compared to weddings. Compared to marriages, I'm fucked up. I need some water. No, you don't. As he drinking all the water. You should have bought you a bottle in here. Listen, I don't know if my fans gonna like this podcast, dog. But we can talk. We're talking now. Let's talk some real shit. All right, let's go. So I'm at the wedding, man. It was very beautiful, and it really made me feel some things I never felt before. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been to a wedding, and what has your experience been at a wedding? I went to my dad's wedding. He made me the best man. Oh, that's cute as fuck. And uh, I didn't prepare a sketch. I just spoke honestly, and it was really short, but I, I feel like I shouldn't have been my dad's best man. Like, I think the idea of it is corny. Like, I, I wouldn't make my dad my best man. I would make... Why not? Because my dad, I love my dad. He's my dad, but he ain't my best man. My best man is somebody that I got in some trouble with. It's like, yeah. school, like it will be one of my friends close in age. Not Who my, would be in your wedding? Give me everybody in your wedding right now. Everybody in my wedding. You I said you had seven. It was you and you had to have seven groomsmen. Oh, well, my dad's going to be a groomsman. Okay, so who's the best man? And then who's the other six? Best man is probably Zay. Zay. Or I, P. Or, I don't know who's it. Can you tell these people who Dayan, the fuck is it? Dayan will be in it. Ant will be in it. But who's brother. the best man? Between Zay or, or P. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Who's your best man? My best man? My best man will be my dad. That's that's uh, that's uh cool. My best man is my dad. All right. And mm-hmm. then in the wedding, my groomsmen, I got six slots. So I got my boy Dom Lewis. I got my boy Dom Lewis. I got my boy, uh, my boy, uh, my boy Dom Lewis. My boy Mo. So Dom, Mo, Tahir, Tahir Moore will be in the wedding. Um, and I get three more. My cousin Bam. I get two more. Um, I would ask DL Hughley to be be in my be in, be one of my groomsmen, but I think that he would probably be. He we would have to work. Which means my boy Lou would have to work, which means Gary would have to work. So I'm going to exclude them. I got two more slots left. My boy Jarrett Wright. All right. My boy Jarrett Wright. You don't have to have so many groomsmen. But we just, because girls got a lot of friends, so. And then. Mm-hmm. Well, you can get one of her friends to be, what if she got a guy friend? If she, she got a brother. What if she got a guy friend? He can't be in my fucking wedding, because I'm going to assume he hit that. No fucking guy friends at my wedding, dog. That's I, Cause no, no. Well, okay. So when I was at Ryan wedding, I'm not a guy friend of hers. Mm-hmm. Like we're good, we're cool. Like we're like more like brother and sister, you know. Like cause cause like her dad, DL took me on this wing. He old enough to be my dad. Mm-hmm. So we're like family. I've been, you know what I mean. We're it's, it's a little bit different. Like she looked at me like, oh Clint, that's like my little brother. Like, that's my. We're like the same age. Okay. It's like you know how like 
back in the day, like they'd be like, "Yo, your mom would get with, would, would be friends with my friends, my or would be friends with his mom," and then you'd be like, "My kids are your age. You guys would get along." Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's how our relationship is. So you wouldn't like hit if you could? <laughs> oh my god, no! If she was like butt naked in front of you, you wouldn't? No, nah, dog. You'd be like putting on your clothes. <laughs> yes. And that's when I walk in like, oh yeah, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're a pervert. No, but keep it, keep it. Okay, but I'm not a guy friend. I don't want guy friends at my wedding. How would you feel if a guy that that, that fucked your girl was at your wedding? I wouldn't know. I, I if me and my girl got married right now, she has a she has a friend that would come to my that would come to her wedding. A male friend that was around. Yo, let me get one. No, just keep talking, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fat. <laughs> Keep talking. Um, um, if me and my girl got married right now, <laughs> then get a piece. Ah, oh, diabetic. If my girl, if my, <laughs> if my girl, if me and my girl got married right now, we she has a guy friend that can come to our wedding, and I'm totally fine with it. And he fuck. I don't know. He been around longer than I have. You think he fuck? No, I don't. But I do. Hmm, okay. <laughs> you think he fuck Riff? I think Mr. Freddy fucking your mom right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he keeps my bed. <laughs> what time is it over there? <laughs> no, my mom sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong with him. <laughs> Yo. Grown women. He looked at his watch. <laughs> but grown women don't fuck after like 8 o'clock. Yeah, okay. Did you, you ever fuck the women in her 50s? No, I'm not interested. Because they be tired. Yeah, I'm not And interested. they got a whole bunch of medical problems. <laughs> like, you ever have a chick? You ever fuck a chick? And she had the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday pills. You know what I'm talking about? The little container. S A S M T W T F S S. All the big ones on Thursday. That's what the week. That's when the weekend start. They start getting bigger and bigger as the week go on. You know what I'm talking about? And Thursday pills. Then Friday, forget about it. Oh, and Saturday, <laughs> it's lit. And then Sunday, it gets small again because that's the Lord's day. No, it's dope. No. Yeah. <laughs> but I fuck the woman like that. <laughs> and, she, and she be tired. <laughs> she don't be wanting to fuck. That's, why Why would you fuck a woman like that? Why would, That's too old. <laughs> she was fine as shit. <laughs> she was fine as shit. Uh, all I would do is go, <laughs> go on a woman's purse. <laughs> I'm not above it. I'm above it. I'm not above going in a woman's purse when she sleep. I am. <laughs> like Debo. Wow. You ain't shit. You fucking scumbag. He used to, he used to come to the house parties. The girls used to leave their pocketbooks the day I be. That's hilarious. <laughs> day I be there checking them. And they give me the signal. Bitch is broke. <laughs> <laughs> How can you tell if a bitch is broke in her pocketbook? Uh, she what, no- she, what does she have in her pocketbook? Chicks back in the we were young, so I don't know, gum, dollar. <laughs> one dollar? <laughs> I mean, you broke if you have one dollar. Yo, one dollar just to mean everything at one point. You Bro, when we was fuck. when we was kids, Yo. I would go to the corner store, I'd get two two hugs, quarter waters in New York, but I'll get two hugs and I get a brownie and a bag of chips. Why you get two quarter waters? Because I like the I like more liquids. Mmm. You know, and if I had, if I had a chick, if I had a chick with me, and we had a dollar. I split fifty cent, fifty cent. I go. I had my yo. I had a girl in, in like fifth grade. You know, her name is Simona Sippy. <coughs> What's up, Simona? How you doing? Look at me now, baby. Come holler at your boy. Simona was Jamaican. Wait. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, my dollar, I get hug two bags of chips and a little Debbie. Be mm-hmm. set. 
<laughs> he's knocked out when I get home. Uh, a little Debbie. A little Debbie. Okay, which one? A oatmeal cream pie? Oh, that overall cream pie used to hit. Cream but, pie means something different today. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> cream pie means something different today. Oh, well. You know what cream pie means, right? Yes. I okay. know what cream pie means. What does it mean? Why Why is that a, 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 a category c- in porn? Women like seeing, like, low-key women love when you nut in them. Oh, yeah, because they ask for it. <laughs> right? <laughs> women do ask for it. Especially you know, when women, birthday, they go, come inside. But like, they like the way it feels for some reason. I asked the older woman, I was like, what do you feel? She said, it just feels like, a, like I feel you pulsating. Oh. <laughs> hey, oh. Rich, you ever came inside a chick? Yes. All right. And did she tell you she liked it? Yeah, she loved it. And what does she love about it? <laughs> he said we got more connected but you gotta see how he said it. we got more connected <laughs> it's like your dick is going and then you know you swinging right to it you ain't like that act out um but yeah coming in a woman is great yeah i heard uh i don't i don't come uh i don't come in uh women when i because you gotta ask you gotta ask if you don't ask it's rape like dead ass serious. No, I'm 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 not even Am no. I making that shit up? If you come inside a woman and without her permission, bro, that's rape. Um Like I, so all you niggas talk about something I ain't pulling out, you go ahead and try that shit. On oh, my sister or some shit like that. I'm pressing charges on you, dog. I'm dead ass serious. Some women don't want you to pull out though. So that they'll make it clear, do not pull out. Oh, they say, yeah, don't come at me. Yeah. Nigga, if a girl knows, she don't want you to come in her. Or she might she might have forgot her pill or something. Can you not be, like, barbaric? <laughs> like, I'm just asking you. Be respectful. All right? Keep it Nigga, cute. you just said something wild just now. I just said coming inside somebody. That's I, not wild. I, I forgot what else you said. I okay. don't know why. Well, where did we come in with that? What, what was the point of this story? <laughs> I'm right. get the fuck out of LA. You need to get the fuck in LA. So anyway, I went to this wedding and it was How do we get back to the wedding? Bro, because I'm inspired. To to, to do what? To raise a family. Nigga, you should have been raise a family. You know what? After thirty seven, I ain't doing it. I'm not thirty seven. I'm just saying I'm speaking in We're general. the same age, Reggie. Yeah, no. I'm saying I'm speaking in it in You're 32, general. right? I'm thirty one. You're lying. I'm thirty one. When when's your birthday? August first. What <laughs> year? 1987. Okay. I'm 32. <laughs> I'll try to keep it going. You're stupid. <laughs> Wait, I'm, old, I'm older than you? Oh, I'm 87 too. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Reggie, bro. You want to start a family? Yeah. Not like, not, don't, not with you. Ask like. No, I'm, nigga, what? what are you, it felt like you was asking me like if we want to start a family together and I, I don't want to do that. No, stupid. Hey, if you got another burger in there, hand it, hand it to I'm me. I'm not. Can you finish? The point is, you are sweet. Like you, you. This is why. Listen, I just first of all, this is liquor. All right, I saw the wedding, Ryan, and I was just so in awe of what I was seeing. Then they had a, they had a, they had, yo, bro. It was a New Orleans style wedding. Mm. So, like, first of all, it anybody was musty? No, you, we talked about this. I love New Orleans, bro. New Orleans is like all you can fall in love in New Orleans. New Orleans, I is think so you can romantic. fall in love in DC. You could all in love in New Orleans, though. Like, they was playing the... Doom, 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 doom. And then we was, we was grooving, man. It was it was a sight to see, man. They had... They, yo, bro, they fed us gumbo. I never had gumbo. Well, well I had it at, in New Orleans, at the New Orleans themed wedding. Mm. Everybody had gumbo. My shit had the... Gr- Ooh, it was so good. It had chunks of crab and... God damn I can't, it, I gumbo. can't eat crab. I can't eat crab. All right, well, that's your problem. I can't eat shellfish. That shit sucks. Well, I can. And I ate it. And it was good. Well. So, anyway, but this wedding dog, I want to get married. I want... You should should get married. I want to get married. You should get married. Go downtown. I want to pledge my life to somebody, and I want somebody to pledge their life to me. There you go. I want to be... What kind of husband would you be? I don't know, man. I, I don't think about being a husband. You don't? No, not at all. Um, Why not? Because it's Why no... Why you have to lick your lips like that? 
Nigga, I, 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 just, I don't think I think about living with a girl and with my girl and getting a dog. Ooh, but you're still a husband. But I don't think about marriage. I just want to live with my girl and have a dog. That's all you want to do. Yeah, That's and then and then we'll go from there. All right. So you want to live with your girl? You want to have a dog? What kind of man would you be to your woman if you lived with her? <sighs> Tell the people. I don't know. What do you What do you want me to say? What kind of fucking husband would you be? Um. I wouldn't cheat on her. I'm just trying to get some pussy for saying I won't cheat. Let me get that. Let me get the rest of that. No. You wouldn't cheat on your girl? No. At all? No, not if I'm her husband. What the? Come on, man. <laughs> no. So we were talking about cheating today. Any advice from a fuckboy group chat? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm hungry. But we were talking about cheating. Um, you and tell them what you said. You know what I got tell to say about cheating? Said. I feel like with cheating, right? Women don't know how hard it is to not cheat. Am I right or wrong? And you said black women need to know their place. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. You said that. <laughs> oh, my God. So, anyway... Women don't know how hard it is not to cheat. I say that because a lot of times you cheat on, like, you you ain't been, you, men, we're not used to getting chicks. You get you get handsome when you're older, then you, like, you get a nice job or you famous or whatever. Those guys, we didn't get girls when we were younger like that. Girls didn't start approaching us till like, we got on or we got finer, we got cuter. My whole thing is women been dodging men they whole lot. Like, guys started to try to talk to women when they when they was, like, 12. Like, another 12-year-old. Not, like, grown men, but, like, other. I was I was trying to bag chicks since I was, like, 10, 11. And you've been mm-hmm. turning me down since I was 10 or 11. Now, I got women, you got women that's, 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 that wants to talk to you, that want to be with you, that want to fuck you and throw them pussy at you, and you're supposed to say no? It's tough. It's hard. And then it's easier because we're older now, too. So you right. can easily get a, a younger chick. And it's easier because we're more wiser. What are you talking about? That has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Man, look. I'm saying women don't know how hard it is not to cheat, bro. Have you ever had, you had girls, like, okay, you had girls come at you? And When's the last what? time you had a girl to shoot her shot at you? I don't know. I've been in a relationship for a while, so nobody shot their shot. You know, women don't know how to shoot their shot. So, so you're saying I, you've been in a relationship and no woman has ever tried to talk to you? I'm I'm not saying that. You never I, had to tell I, a chick you, know you got a girlfriend. Exactly. I I probably I probably was supposed to and didn't. Wait, what? I probably was. I probably could have said, "Hey, I, I got a girlfriend. I can't talk to you." But I st- like we were talking about earlier, entertaining conversation. What were you doing? Just but, being personable. Do you think that's cheating? A, no, and being being personable and being um, okay. What if it would have went? What if it went past that? Would you have told her, "Hey, I got a girlfriend"? Yeah, it wouldn't have went past that though, because I'm only there for the entertaining. But I'm asking you, okay? I had it, okay. The last time, okay, I had chicks try to shoot. They shot me when I was in a relationship. Mm-hmm. And for me, like, I'm not saying I cheated because I didn't, but I was very tempted to be like, "Yo, what's up?" These women fine, bro. They are. These women are fine as shit, bro. So that well, you you ain't got no control. So that's another thing. So a girl said that she was like, "Yo, what about self control?" And I'm like, "Yo, self control is really really difficult, depending on what you you know what I'm saying. Self control mm-hmm. is really fucking difficult. Like you, it's hard to." To, to to see somebody that you find attractive and their desire like yo women women underestimate the value of being desired like men you know how, you know what a man's confidence would do if a woman really like trying to fuck with you like yo your 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 points go up bro mhm you know your points go up i don't remember the last time I, like like, yeah, dog, you feel like you got 100 coins and you get an extra life. Yeah, but it's only, you don't have to, you don't have to, you can take it, hey, yeah, that's pretty cool, and then keep it moving. 
Oh, I'm, 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 I'm saying, but there's every guy ain't like you or every guy ain't like me. A, a lot of niggas take the bait. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is, I don't. I'm not mad at the nigga for taking the bait. Of course, cause you're a nigga. I ain't mad at the nigga either. It's not even about being mad at him. <clears throat> I think for me, it's more so like you're. I understand why somebody would take the bait. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I understand why a guy would, would just fall into temptation. That shit hard, bro. Because you're a guy, yeah. We supposed but women to. don't understand that, though, is they what not, I'm saying. They're not. We don't understand their shit. You know, like, women don't understand. Like, why can't you just tell her you got a girlfriend? And I'm like, it's not that That's easy. no fun. <laughs> that's no fun. Hey, I got a girlfriend. And she leaves, and I'm sitting there with my thumb up my ass. Whoa. What? I've been hanging around too many white guys. That's yeah. how they talk. Yeah, they do. Shout out my white guys. You who? My white dogs. <laughs> oh my god Yo but I, I feel that though I feel that Okay Rich you ever You ever you ever been tempted to cheat on somebody yeah. Bro cheating is Bro Bro Women be throwing pussy at you It is so hard to You know how hard it is to dodge pussy It is hard Nigga It's like somebody throwing a snow shed at you You can't do nothing dog You gotta be so good to dodge sex I had a girl tell me one time, she's like, look, I'm not trying to be your wife. I want the dick. And as a man, who's who am I not to give it to her? Hey, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if a woman asks you for the dick, dog, why would you not give it to her? You think, why? Oh, because let, let the girlfriend is going to stop me. That should stop me. Oh, I got a girlfriend. I can't do it to you. You're requesting me. Mm. You know how great it feels to be requested? You're Nigga, you preaching. ever been requested? You're preaching, brother. And well, you ever been requested? Boom, boom. I was in the water. Mm-mm. And water, I don't mean regular water. Doom, doom. I mean that pussy water. Boom, boom. Okay. Um, But yeah, shout out to women. Walked up to me. That's going down. Like she knows that. What about somebody you don't have like, a crush like on? You, if you, if you, your girl could Mary J. You, Blige bag you? No, I don't want Mary J. Blige. I look at Mary J. Blige and go, "Oh, that's Mary J. Blige." Okay. Okay. Why? Could Mary J. Blige bag you? Yeah. I mean, it depends on what you're into. I'm just saying she has the power to bag me. No, oh, she don't. First of all, she wouldn't bag you. Why not? Um, because mm, you you wouldn't even be in her 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 vision. Yeah, I would be in her vision, and she would she would request me. She would request me. She would say, "There you go Clinton and Coley, bring them over here." <laughs> I remember that. Shit. <laughs> that was Burger King chicken sandwich commercial. Uh-huh. <laughs> Spicy chicken, fresh lettuce. So they got a uh, Shaq and the Papa John's commercials. Yeah, he, he drawing, dog. <laughs> they slowly be getting us back. Because I seen it, I was like, there you go, Shaq. Oh, you got put, damn, I had Papa John's in the middle. Let me get a pizza. Yeah, and then I'm like, damn, Shaq was a dominant player. But that pizza look good as shit in his hand. Yo, they, be, they swear it. Yo, you know what I noticed, Yeah, we too? be cooning. No, not oh, we, but. Nigga. No, 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 we coons, too. I'm um, not a coon. Yeah, you are. Um, okay. So, you know Alvin and the Chipmunks? Out. yeah. Okay, they... Alvin, legit, Simon, and Theodore. Theodore. They were legit chipmunks when I was growing up. I know this because I was a big fan of the chipmunks. So up. I would be, you'd be Theodore, I'd be Simon. Yeah, whatever. Um, <clears throat> Alvin's dead, obviously. Wow. <clears throat> but oh I, 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 I still normally go to sleep. Yo, do I look cartoon. cool in these glasses? No, I go to sleep going watching Cartoon Network like all the time. The other day I woke up. Can you answer it again? Do I, look cool, do I look cool in these glasses? No, nigga. Okay. Alvin and the Chipmunks. Alvin and the Chipmunks is on. Yo, pull up a picture of Alvin and the Chipmunks. No, bro. for what, man? Because people look listening at them. don't want to hear this shit. It's advice bro, from a fuckboy, not advice from Alvin and the Chipmunks, bitch. You right, but you just asked me what the fuck you look like in glasses. Because your story was bullshit. Nigga, you talked for three hours about a bullshit wedding. Ryan and, and Why are you and, gonna say my boss's daughter's bull- wedding was bullshit? Yes. He ain't my boss. Women's gotta start respecting bosses. 
All right, you got it. <laughs> like if I came here and told you about my IHOP boss, you wouldn't give a shit. Yeah, I would. No, you wouldn't. Because he might listen to his podcast and say, Jetson, draw fired. <laughs> 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 nigga, Mr. Spacely was that nigga. Yo, somebody need to bring me some water. Please. So listen, let's talk about let's talk I gotta ask Clint. You like ask Clint? You need to ask Clint to go to sleep. You need to ask Clint to be your your right hand man. I got you, bro. You ready? This is a good one. This is a good one. Are you ready? It says, fuck them or nah. It says, hey, Clint, hey. Okay, so I really need your help. Like, really. So I definitely had a hot girl summer. I met a few guys, and some are not worthy to keep on the roster. So I need your help cutting the not, not so worthy. Please keep in mind, Clint, cup and season is around the corner, and I need good choices. Baby girl, I got you. Here's the choices she has. She has guy number one. They've been messing for, she's been messing with him for over eight, nine years. She wants to have more than sex, but he's not interested. Guy number two, he's great on paper. Sex is amazing, but he could be a bit of an asshole. But the sex is amazing. Mm. Guy number three, he is the advantage local dope boy. His sex is just all right. And he does live on the other side of town, what makes it impossible to get the dick. And number four, he's a sweet guy, but I think I friend zoned him too quick. We haven't had sex, but he's definitely pressed to have sex. Which do you think are worthy to keep around? P.S. Keep my name anonymous. Also, I love your podcast. Keep up the great work. Okay. Reg, first of all, let's talk about which guys would you take off the list? I would take the first one and the second one. What? Do you remember who first and second one is? Yeah. Fucking, what was his name? There's no name. What's his, there's no name. What was this girl's name? I didn't give, all right, man, you ain't, you ain't here. So listen, so she has, she's having trouble getting rid of guys. Okay. All right? She needs to get rid of some dudes for this, for a cup and season. She's currently fucking with four dudes. Ew. She wants to, we're not doing that. And she wants to figure out who should she keep and who should she not keep. She said, guy number one, she's been messing with him for eight, nine years. She wants to have more than sex, but he doesn't seem interested. Number two, he's good on paper. His sex is amazing, but he can be a bit of an asshole, but his sex is amazing. She emphasized that twice and put amazing in capital letters. Third guy is a dope boy. His dick is just cool, and he lives on the other side of town. And number four, he's a sweet dude. They never. She said she friends on him too quick. She hasn't had sex with him yet, but he's pressed. She needs to look at herself what? and match herself up. So, yeah. if she works in retail, she should probably go with the dope dealer. If, <laughs> if she works in retail and she's nice Yo! and sweet, she needs to go with the guy that's nice and sweet. If she works in retail and the guy just ghosts her, then she needs to go to retail and not work with him. Because it sounds like she works in retail. Okay, I'm not going to judge where she works, but here's what I think. She needs to get rid of guy number three immediately. No dope dudes. She, and she said, his first of all, dope boys, women fuck with dope boys because they think they got good dick. Is that true? That's a God honest fact. Rich. Why would Rich know that? Well, he because he, we, we're, we're around women. We, we know women. Get off your phone. Listen. All women, a lot of women that fuck with dope boys, a lot of times are fucking with them because they like the dick. And and money, that's it. This dope dealer, first of all, what you don't? He ain't ghost. I know this dude ain't ghost. He's local. Wow. I'm just saying he's not. He's not ghost. He's not even Tommy. Like, mm. so what I think is, if the sex is just all right, why cut your loss? And he on the other side of town. So that means it take a while to get to the dick. Maybe he got a nice car. Maybe she like the way. And he... fuck that. She needs to keep number two. He's great on paper. She said he got amazing sex. Every girl could deal with a little bit of asshole. The Cowboys is great on paper every year. But she said they have amazing sex, which means he finishes. Cowboys don't. But what is it? Is she just concerned about she, sex? She just said he's an asshole. 
You can okay. deal with that. Yeah, you can deal with that. Number four. That means he works hard. Number one guy, I say keep number one, too. You've been messing with him for eight to nine years. Mm -hmm. So that means there's some history and there's a rapport there. You know what I'm saying? But after eight, nine years, if he's not committed, if he ain't interested, move on. I feel you, but she should just take it for what it is, which could be... And be miserable? The, no, she's, she wants to, she wants cuffing season to be cuffing. At least if you're fucking this guy, at least you have a, you're fucking a guy that you actually care about. I don't think she care about him. She does. I think they just used to each other. Okay, well, then there's guy number four. She said, this guy's a sweet guy, but she friends on him too, for, too quick. She says she never had sex with him, but he's pressed. Any guy who's pressed to have sex, usually they dick is whack. Would you agree with that? You don't fuck guys, you're right. Um, so But I'm not pressed to fuck. Are you be pressed to fuck? Uh sometimes, yeah. You what what you mean? Like what does press mean again? If you press, like you meet you meet a girl and you press to have sex with her. It means you trying hard. No, I won't try hard, but I mean I still want to fuck if I'm single and mm. I want to meet a girl. Yeah, but, but I, I'm not I'm not like See, I'm not like, yo, wait, come on, come do it. Yeah, yeah, that, that's press. And I think no. any guy who's like that, usually they don't, they don't have But it. some women like that kind of attention. Yeah, well, she's saying clearly saying she don't. So, oh, okay. sis, get rid of the dope boy. Get rid of the dude who's press. Stay with number two. And if get if fuck the dude with the uh, who's who 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 been who been fucking you over for eight nine years. There you go. That's what I think. Yo, Reg, talk to me. Hmm. All right. We've come to the end of the podcast, Reg. Yeah. What have you learned today? I don't know, man. You know what? I've done this podcast before, and it was it was really fast and it was quick. But I don't think I can do edibles on a podcast again. Why not? Because I'm just slowed. Your stories were super long, um, and you ugly to me. Okay. Um, that shows you the real the real deal between a professional comedian. And an amateur. <laughs> um, and that's what you are. You're a fucking amateur, bro. You are amateur night at the Apollo. You are the amateur level. Amateur of, night at the Apollo was legendary. Yeah, well, you ain't want... You are the niggas that got booed. They was Bo legendary, bro. Yeah, but you ain't legendary. You Kelly Clarkson. Nigga, I'm you, Jennifer Lawrence. Who's Jennifer Lawrence to you? Jennifer you, Hudson. Okay. I'm. She won't... Okay, I'll be that. That's fine. You Kelly Clarkson. I'll be Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson got money. Jennifer Lawrence do too. You, you don't even know her name. Her Jennifer Hudson. Okay. Who the fuck is Jennifer Lawrence? Oh, that's the old Actress. lady that be singing. Dumbass. Like I said, I... So so you learned you can't do an edible. Yeah, I can't do an edible um, talking on a podcast. I realize I can. Yeah, I don't think you can either. You think you can. No, I mean, I, this podcast ain't a wash. No, no, I ain't saying that. I ain't saying nothing about the podcast. I'm saying but we I, was rambling a couple of times. We was rambling. I'm saying I can't do this on a podcast. You I should on an edible because you're a pro, you're an amateur. Yeah, I guess I am. You got amateur dick. You got amateur friends. Oh my god! Shut Your up. mom is amateur. <laughs> Trust me, I was there. Your mom. Your mom's with, an amateur. Your mom is getting amateur slammed <laughs> <laughs> by Mr. Kenny right now. Mr. Kenny? <laughs> Mr. Oh, Freddie. Mr. Freddie. Your mom. Mr. Kenny and Mr. Wow. Kenny and his homie. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Kenny, come in there, man. <laughs> oh, so they're, saying, they're running a train on my mommy? Okay. They're running a train on my mommy? Yeah. Yeah, we ran a train on your mommy at an amateur night, <laughs> and we we fucked her on the on the on the little wooden shit, and then we called in Kiki Shepherd <laughs> to see who won. Okay, I'm done. Is Kiki Shepherd still kicking? I don't know, but she's beautiful. She she was. All right, beautiful. Reg, tell them where they can find you at on social media, my brother. Reg Conquest, R E G G Conquest. Follow me. It's going to be a good year, good 2020. It's going to be a great. 2020. More life, all that. Reg, do I look like Joe to see in his glasses? No, nigga, you look like shit to see. Okay, <laughs> that's the last. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for laughing. God bless. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.